Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy T for 365 Horror Vlog, the channel where we attempt to watch every single horror movie in existence. And in today's video, we have another one of our new release videos for you guys. This one is for December 12th, 2022. So let's get into it. Now we are gonna get into the video, but before we do, I've gotta remind you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff, really helps the channel out. I also wanna remind you that this video is best watched with a movie tracker. I like to use Letterboxd. That way, if they do move the release dates around, you can always keep the movies locked in. And being fresh back from my Mexico trip, I'm gonna get right into the movies. Now, even though Christmas is upon us, it's awesome because we've got a lot of good movies this week. I've got six for you, so that's gonna be cool. And we are gonna start with the first one, Buzz Cut. Releasing on VOD. The Hash House Harriers, a drinking club with a running problem, encounters a killer beekeeper in a crazy Kiwi horror comedy that is part Animal House and part 80s slasher movie. It is directed by Martin Renner. So upon watching the trailer for Buzz Cut, it actually looks like it's got some pretty good humor mixed into it. I did like some of the dialogue, and also it looks like it is definitely going to be a brutal slasher, which always gets one up in my book. You definitely see some, like, a knife in someone's eyeball, amputated limbs. It looks pretty bloody, like a pretty good slasher. Usually I'm not too big into horror comedies, but this one actually looks pretty good. I am looking forward to it. It looks like it's about a beekeeper who comes back from the past or some sort of almost Jason-esque. It's got a very Friday the 13th kind of Jason-esque feel to it because they're camping and I don't know, it just looks like they play funny games. You get what looks to be some nudity in it. So definitely again, classic 80s slasher kind of content in there. Uh, all in all, this would be a movie that I would watch. Again, I'm not 100% into horror comedies, but it might be bloody enough. Throw it on the watch list. Some say he's still out there in the woods, <gasps> protecting his bees. Moving right along, we are going to look at the horror thriller Freeze, releasing on VOD. On a rescue mission to the North Pole to retrieve an old friend and his lost expedition crew, Captain Mordekar gets more than he bargained for when his ship is frozen into the ice sheet and set upon by bloodthirsty fish creatures. It is directed by Charlie Steeds. Okay, after watching the trailer for Freeze, I mean, I guess it looks like an interesting movie. Unfortunately, it looks like this one suffers from lack of budget. It looks kind of low budget. I don't know if it's the costumes or whatever, but it's almost like this ship kind of shipwrecks or gets caught in an ice sheet and then they kind of are left to survive. In the trailer, you see them walking around a lot in their outfits, and as somebody who just watches a lot of survival stuff, I just can't see how they'd even survive a day walking in those clothes in like an Arctic climate. So I, I don't know exactly how it's gonna go, but it does look like maybe they find refuge in some sort of cave. It looks like it's got some bloodiness to it, but the creatures just look ridiculous in the trailer. It still could be something fun to watch. In the end, it will definitely be lower priority, but I'll have it on the watch list. We are in the middle of a half-frozen polar ocean, Gideon, further north than any ship that safely returned has ever sailed. The cold does things to a man's mind, gives him strange inclinations. Next, we're going to look at a film where the genre is always polarizing to me, and that is drama, horror, romance, and the movie is called Bones and All, releasing on VOD. Marin, a young woman, learns how to survive on the margins of society. It is directed by Luca Guadagnino. Okay, when I first heard about this movie, I was kind of conflicted, it being a drama, romance. I'm just not always into that kind of thing. But upon watching the trailer, this actually looks like an interesting movie. It looks like it's about these eaters who are almost cannibals and they're kind of into this society. There's some loose rules, you can't eat an eater, so I don't know what happens if you do. Maybe it makes you crazy and have a taste for other eaters. I also like kind of the confliction, you know, like you have to do this and w the only ways out are to kill yourself or to do certain things, as well as looking bloody and just like a weird movie. It looks like it's going to be something kind of interesting. I even like the romance kind of element. It looks like they kind of go on a Mickey and Mallory kind of adventure almost where they just go around eating a bunch of people. It just looks kind of cool. It looks like it's got a lot of bloodiness. You see parts where they're cutting up humans for consumption, some pretty brutal killings, always a bag over the head, just watching that 
bad if they play the whole scene. It's always a visceral killing. Just brutal to see. So this one might actually have some redemption to it. It might actually be a pretty good movie, despite being a romance. I can think of a kind full of other romances that were good. Usually they're a little bit too slow for me, but again, like a Bram Stoker's Dracula. Great example of, I mean, it might be old school now, but a great horror romance movie. So I'm actually interested to see if this one holds my attention when I watch it. Put it on the watch list. I smelt you. I didn't know I could do that. I thought I was the only one. I don't want to hurt anybody. Famous last words. Next, we're gonna look at a movie that is a straight horror that's from the director of Annabelle. It's called Lullaby, and it's releasing on VOD. A new mother discovers a lullaby in an ancient book and soon regards the song as a blessing, but her world transforms into nightmare when the lullaby brings forth the ancient demon Lilith. It is directed by John R. Leonetti. So after watching the trailer, this looks like a good, just straight horror movie. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I do like the premise. It's kind of like the demon Lilith has created a lullaby that actually summons her instead of putting your kids to sleep because before people actually used to use lullabies to keep Keep Lilith at bay. It looks like a good classic horror with a lot of cerebral moments in it. You know, her baby goes lost on the covers and so she's looking for the baby and can't find it and now the covers feel like it's like a million mile maze. Buddy's in the shower with what looks to be like a beautiful woman but then when he turns around it's a decrepit old woman. So some of the tropes but still some of that imagery can sometimes stick with you if it's good enough. Again, I do like the premise and I do think that this movie looks pretty interesting. It looks like it's gonna have some good creepy moments. Uh, at one point you see like almost dead kind of zombified baby which looks kind of creepy i don't know zombified babies are always creepy so anything with babies is creepy man so either way this looks like kind of a pretty good horror movie something just really interesting to watch that will grip you throughout its plot so i'm gonna put it on the watch list mothers sing lullabies to keep lilith away but she turned it into a lullaby that summons her eli 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 Next movie we're looking at is going to be another hybrid. This one's going to be a drama horror thriller. It's called Nanny and it's releasing on Amazon Prime. Immigrant nanny Aisha, piecing together a new life in New York City while caring for the child of an Upper East Side family, is forced to confront a concealed truth that threatens to shadow her precarious American dream. It is directed by Nikyatu Jusu. So after watching the trailer for Nanny, again, it's another movie that looks pretty interesting. It's about a nanny who comes from overseas and it looks like she's trying to work maybe to bring the rest of her family over. I don't mind this kind of movie. I mean, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of weird going ons around evil spirits, like attacking her or whatever. It does look like it follows a lot of the tropes, a lot of the things that you'd expect in a movie like this. Just her being conflicted with her kind of heritage and you know, so it's got a lot of African overtones of cursing and all of that stuff. So it still could be a pretty interesting movie. Uh, it, it's gonna be interesting to see the interaction between the characters. Are they gonna go on like kind of more of a social justice kick? It didn't seem like that from the trailer and it's not something I mind per se, if it's not too heavy handed, but it just even even her American dream being shattered. I'm kind of interested to see exactly what they mean. All in all, the movie looks pretty interesting. Throw it on the watch list. You're gonna be okay. I wish I knew what's happening to me. Lastly, we're gonna look at a movie called The Apology. And although it's a thriller, it's being released on Shudder and AMC. 20 years after the disappearance of her daughter, a recovering alcoholic is preparing to host her family's Christmas celebration when her estranged ex-brother-in-law arrives unannounced, bearing nostalgic gifts and a heavy secret. It is directed by Allison Locke. So I threw this one in because I wanted to have another Christmas theme kind of movie, and it actually does look like it is a pretty dark thriller after watching the trailer. Apparently something has happened to this woman's daughter and she's never really been able to get over it. And I guess she's kind of an alcoholic, so that that is probably going to play into some of the visions and delusions you see. It looks like there's a twisted, maybe kind of torture scene in this movie. You see her at one point, she has someone tied up, so maybe it's for the crime of what happened to her child, I assume. I It doesn't really tell you enough from the trailer. Even the kind of pizzicato music when they really pluck on a violin just gives such a creepy air to the trailer that it makes me think there's going to be something really dark in this movie. Either way, the brother, because I mean, they say he returns with a dark secret. He's there asking a bunch of questions 
Evans, or I don't know if he's the one who knocks on the door at the end of the trailer. I am kind of intrigued just to see where this story goes and who did it and whether she tortures them and where it really goes. So it could be something that holds my attention. And that is something we will just have to see after it's on the watch list. After all this time, what do you need to help you feel whole again? I could never feel whole again. Well, guys, that's going to do it for another edition of 365 Horror Vlogs, where we look at the new releases and movies of the week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. Really helps the channel out. If I had to go with two movies this week, I would probably go with Bones and All and Lullaby. They just look like the most interesting kind of compelling movies to me, but it does look like all the movies look pretty good, except for Freeze. I mean, it's not that Freeze doesn't look good. I don't really want to put anyone down. I mean, these are people's works and whatnot, uh, but but it does just have a weird budget to it, a weird kind of story. Creatures look weird. If you guys could tell me what movies you guys thought were exciting this week, down in the comments, I'd love to have a discussion with you about it. And plus, maybe you'll prompt me to watch something else. I only have so much time, so I try to watch all the movies. But I mean, I definitely have them in a priority. So let me know your priority and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. It's time you make the real queen be, you royal jelly honeycomb sucky mother.